Following the revelations at the RCI, the Royal Commission of Inquiry on Immigration in Sabah, uh, you come out uh, very strongly demanding that the Elections Commission uh, respond to the allegations, um, even though you say that the inquiry has not concluded. Uh, why did you make that statement, and what is it that you hope uh, will be clarified by uh, a statement by the EC? Well, you know, uh, these issues uh, have been ongoing for a long time. Uh, the fact that it's coming out at the uh, RCI is, is good. The fact that the RCI was set up is good. But I think it is, it will be left, there will be many questions still remaining uh, if we go into the elections without the EC coming up with a strong position on it. I don't see that there is a problem for the EC to do that. I certainly don't see a problem for the EC to investigate. It requires investigation. I use the words spine chilling, the revelations they are. And, uh, and I, as I've said before, they are um, shocking on the one hand, but not surprising, if you know what I mean, uh, because this is what we've believed all along. If I can just mention that in the Likas case, uh, this is in the year 2000, the judge there found similar things. He found the same things, in fact. And in fact, investigations should have been done way back then by the EC. Do you think that the general public should be uh, draw the conclusion that our system is broken, that in fact the electoral system has been politicized, that uh, we cannot trust it and therefore we should not participate in it? Well, uh, to start with, it is uh, Bursi has been saying this for a long time, that uh, there is something wrong with the, with the system, that particularly in relation to the electoral rule, which is critical for our elections, there are issues which need cleaning up. But that does not mean people stay away. In fact, Bursay's um, campaign to bring out the vote is for people to come out in large numbers and vote because that is one way in which you can minimize or mitigate some of this fraud. The fraud is there. We've been saying that all along. Whether the RCI uh, reveals it or not, those are the reports we've been getting. Uh, and we're getting reports of that in West Malaysia too, by the way. So, to me, staying away is not the answer. It's actually coming out that's the answer. And I hope people do that. From the revelations of the, rather the allegations that are coming out of the RCI, do you feel that we are better placed to understand how the fraud is working and how we might actually, at this point, um, uh, do something about it, tweak the system, you know, put in place safeguards, whatever is necessary to uh, not have a repetition of this. Yes. In fact, we've been saying that the cleaning up of the electoral rule could have happened some time ago, and it could have been done, frankly. If they had worked on it for when Bursay actually raised it, by now you would have a clean electoral rule, but that didn't happen. Nevertheless, between now and I'm assuming that the elections are in March, you still have two months. If everybody works hard enough to try and actually clean it up to some extent, that would help. So I still think that we can do things to improve the system, but the political will has to be there for that to happen. And on the question of political will, you've been engaging with the Electors Commission for several years now. I mean, what is your own feeling about that? Do you think that they can and will step up to the plate and do something about it before we go to the polls? Well, I don't have high hopes of that, to be honest. I actually find the Election Commission fairly obstructive, uh, and they don't seem to receive criticisms very well. I know they've done little things here and there, but it's just not enough. You see, they, the EC was, it was absolutely uh, in cahoots with all those concerned in the Sabah um, uh, project, IC as it were. That's very worrying uh, for us the fact that an independent body like the EC was involved. So they need to actually come out, they need to actually say something because otherwise people are going to go into these elections and really wonder what this election commission is about. I understand that they will be taking the stand uh, at the RCI and they will be stating what's happened. They, in a report, have claimed that this, uh, or suggested this is perhaps something of the past and that currently they are uh, doing ne what is necessary to keep the integrity of the system. Okay, let me mention a project uh, called Murat, if I may. Uh, that was a project headed by Dr. Ong Kian and there are several people working with him. The report was issued sometime last year, at the end of last year. Now, if you match that report with the evidence that's coming out in the RCI, 
you will actually see that there are many things that have been raised there which uh, is confirmed by the RCI evidence. In other words, whatever they're saying has happened there is still happening. For example, um, voters uh, with old ICs who have been transferred, where the ICs have been transferred to others, Murak has found that in certain situations currently. So we're not talking about this is something that's happened in the past. We believe it is still happening and something has to be done. Uh, finally, what can we do uh, as general public, as voters, to get the EC to um, and our political uh, leaders, our representatives, to actually respond to some of these uh, allegations, to, to do something before the general elections? Is there something we can actually do concretely? Yes, in fact, uh, to be fair, there are some members uh, who are engaging with us from government, but I think um, in the middle stands the Election Commission. They are the ones who have to show commitment to wanting change and uh, being interested in bringing change. But what we can do is, we can keep talking about it. And I think the facts have to keep coming out. So, um, and that's what Perse is trying to do, actually. We'll have to keep uh, pressuring whoever we can we, and we have to keep uh, bringing the evidence to the fore so that the public are aware. I think that's the only way that, that I know that we can, we might achieve some change, but uh, I'm not very optimistic. All right, thanks. Okay. Thank you.